what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i'm down here fishing a little bit further south today in georgia kind of around the darien area now you guys i haven't really spent too much time down here as far as exploring new areas so it's going to kind of honestly be a little bit new to me but i'm going to take my blueprint that has been working very well for me over in savannah and richmond hill as of lately and see if i can replicate it down here a little bit further south so let's get out here let's go catch some fish All right, well, I got a ton of these little dudes right here. That is uh, absolute flounder candy, redfish trout candy too. So I got enough bait now, man. This river is full of bait. I started just kind of throwing around the uh, the creek mouths and whatnot. And then I looked up out of the corner of my eye and saw a giant school of mullet coming down the bank. So I threw this cast in about maybe five or six times. And man, that live well is stuffed. I got uh, some decent sized ones. Got some smaller ones like this you saw, and then I got some that are a little bit bigger, which is gonna be good for uh, reds. Might set up for some bull reds today too. I don't know, I got the whole day to fish, so we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. All right, man, that live well is absolutely stuffed with mullet. I probably have 50 mullet in there. Uh, and this is the one I'm gonna start off throwing here, just about a three, let's see how, how much she measures out. Yeah, about a four inch mullet. This is pretty much the same size that I will be throwing when it comes to my uh, four inch diesel minnows. So what I have here is just a two watt circle hook. I'm gonna hook that mullet, open. I'm gonna open her mouth and I'm gonna hook her through the roof of the mouth. Come right up through that hard part. Try not to get too deep into the, uh, between the eyes because that is where her brain's at. And this is a 30 pound piece of monofilament leader. This is Andy's, you guys, this is the cheap stuff from Walmart. And this right here is just a little quarter ounce pinch on split shot. Now you can use a Carolina style rig if you want where you just put a swivel right here and an egg sinker above. But I have a ton of these things and I really like them because they're just really easy to pinch on. And I'm going to pinch that weight uh, roughly about six inches above where that hook is. That way it gives her a little bit of uh, room to move around, thrash about and get some attention. So I've tossed that little mullet out there. She's sitting right dead in the middle of that creek mouth. Now at this point, I have a circle hook. I have a couple options. I can hold the, hold the rod and uh, just man it, or I can put it in the rod holder, grab another rig, start working these edges and see if there's any flounder sitting here and here, and just wait for this one to uh, go off. So I'll probably play around with a little bit of both. Kind of a busy bee when I get to fishing. So uh, standing here with a rod in my hand, doing nothing's not gonna really uh, bring me too much excitement. Uh oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already on. That didn't take long. Oh, that might be a good redfish. Come on, baby. That is a good redfish. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Man, that was like almost instant bite. I tell you man these types of spots are just dynamite you guys i was trying to get one of my uh, other live baits rigged up here and this rod just doubled over really quick probably uh man i would say not even not even 30 seconds this thing was in the water so let's get her down here and get her knitted real fast Yeah, I see you, big girl. Oh, golly, man. That's probably 27, 28, something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going over here now. We're going to go wherever she wants to go. 
Come on, big girl. Talk to me. That's a good hook set too, right in the corner. <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I haven't even been fishing two minutes. All right, there we go, man. Little circle hook right in the corner. Great hook set. Gorgeous fish. Drumming away, too. Let me get that out, girl. Set that to the side. And let's hold you up. There we go. Bang. How about that, guys? <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you guys, man, I, I, I got this kind of stuff dialed in. If you're really interested in shortening that learning curve, definitely come check me out on Patreon, you guys. This is, this is what it takes to get out here and catch fish. Just have a little bit of knowledge of where fish could potentially be. And man, it just, it does not take long. There she is. I'm gonna release her and get her back. All right, big girl, she's drumming. She's happy. There she goes. I think you got a flounder. Oh, you got a little trout. There you go, you can swing him in. That's a keeper. All right. All right, we got a fish on board. They're there. I just got hit again. They're right, they're right on that ledge. Imagine the grass line all the way out. They're on that ledge. I just got a big bump. Lay there. So Ray's throwing a cork with honestly about three feet of length, a live shrimp under it. And I'm just kind of coming under him with my Z-Man, this little four inch paddle tail and that chartreuse belly golden top. That's a, a color called Sexy Penny. We'll see what they like. There you go, you're down. Yeah, they're right there, they're hungry now. I'll help you out. Turn that drag about two or three clicks tighter. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Keeper number two. They're liking that shrimp. All right, so let me talk you guys through real quick uh, something I did. I kind of made a mistake coming in here, just um, really just fishing around trying to figure out where the fish are. But uh, what we have is we do have feeding fish that are over here on this ledge. I originally started on that side. I worked my way around here, uh, fishing around those grasses, thinking this trout were gonna be there, but they're not, they're sitting on a ledge. So as I came around the corner, I had the boat sitting pretty much right here, almost on top of them. Now we weren't getting any bites. And then once I started getting a little bit of a nibble, I thought, uh oh, I'm sitting on the fish. So now that I've got the boat backed off, I'm out here in the river more, I've taken the pressure off of those fish and now those fish are back actively feeding. So just uh, something to think about when you come in here in these types of spots, <laughs> try to stay wide as much as you can. It's hard for guys like me because I want to get up in there and I want to fish that structure hard and close and shallow because reds and, and a flounder are there. But just remember, if you are trout fishing or interested in catching trout, they're usually going to be a little bit deeper on these ledges. So uh, don't do like me. Don't run them over. There we go. Be a trout, not a red. It is a trout. Yes, nice. dude. Yes, dude. Come on up. Oh, she's being really calm at the boat. <laughs> That's a good trout. Yes, dude. I was just talking about I needed a big trout, and then I go yoink a 17, 18 in. That's what I'm talking about. All right, boys, how about that? Bang, bang. That's a really nice one there. About 17 and a half, big old yellow mouth. She is going in the live well for sure with her other friends. All right, so here's the rig. I just switched over that popping cork. Um, something about the cork, man, it was, just, it was just really working. I don't know if the water's just a little bit too muddy or too dirty or what, but as soon as I pulled this out, it was game over but this is a four horseman cork um, it's a really nice quality i like it actually i like the uh, frequency of the clack that it makes 
It's got a really nice weight down here, super heavy duty cork, really, really thick wire gauge here so it doesn't bend as uh, easy as some of your cheaper corks. But I got about 20, let's see, it's uh, about almost 24 inches or so of 20 pound monofilament leader. This is a little quarter ounce ice strike trout eye. And I got it paired up with a um, Z-Man shrimps and that is a new penny color. All right, so we moved spots and what we're going to do is honestly this is kind of more of a fall winter style pattern of fishing uh, but the trout have a potential of being in areas like this we're just going to fish up against some of these little uh, down trees and stumps and anywhere where there's a little bit of structure coming in off of this main river got him I got mine. I got him. Is that a boat coming? Yep. Hold on, baby. Oh, it's a little trout anyway. Hey, come on in. She's down here. I'm waiting on a boat to pass by right now. <laughs> Not that this spot's a mystery. I don't want to give everything away. I think you're gonna be right at it. You're either gonna be 13, I'm trying to hold the fish down as the boat goes by. You're gonna be 13 and three quarters. Let's see, zero, 13 and seven eighths. How about that? <laughs> Almost. Almost, buddy. You got a free meal ticket. Get on out of here. I'm gonna get one or two more casts in here and that's gonna be it here. Got her. <laughs> God, has such a terrible hold on it. I think I, uh, I think I got a weird hook set on her, maybe. No, I was just holding it weird. Well, there's a redfish. Bottom of the slot. Pretty little girl. Right huh? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Got him again. Nice. Couple little guys down there. These guys are uh, are very bronze up here in this tannin water. There we go. There's another pretty one right in front of the no wake sign. So you guys know exactly where I'm at if you're in this area. There we go. Nice little girl. All right, fellas, well, I'm back home. I got the sea hunt all cleaned up and getting it reloaded right now for my next trip, which will be coming up in uh, next week's video. But man, what a great time I had out there on the water. Ray, thank you so much for joining me on the sea hunt. It is always a blessing, you guys, to get out into brand new waters, explore some areas, and find fish. Big red fish, nice sized trout, and a whole bunch of different sizes in between. So again, thank you as always for the support with Low Country Fishing. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to tell YouTube you love it by hitting that thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care, everyone, and God bless.